Facebook is facing a new controversy involving the private information of its users. Today, the social media giant revealed the passwords of hundreds of millions of its users were not properly guarded, potentially exposing them to Facebook employees. For more on this, we're joined now by KTVU tech expert Ryan Eldridge. Ryan, thanks for coming on. Uh, so, hey, you're welcome. First off, all these passwords, they were being stored in plain text, unencrypted. Why is that such a big problem? Well, I mean, this is really the behavior of a scrappy startup. It's not the behavior of a $400 billion company. Uh, it's just ridiculous. I think they were ultimately doing it for ease of use, so they didn't have to, like, look things up, and, and they likely just dumped all, com all customer data into a single table so everyone could have access to it. But it's just not the right way to do things. Um, it's, it's pretty basic cybersecurity to encrypt all passwords. Ultimately, this gave... 20,000 Facebook employees access to hundreds of millions. It's estimated between 200 and 600 million mm. user names and passwords. And that is just ridiculously irresponsible of Facebook. And Facebook says there's no evidence that any of its employees abused their access to those passwords. Uh, yes. Do you believe that's the case, Ryan? It is really getting harder and harder and harder to believe anything that Facebook says, unfortunately. I mean, from the Cambridge Analytica scandal, I mean, even this scandal alone has taken them three months to notify us that there was a problem. And the only reason they notified us is because Krebs on Security, an independent auditor, was releasing that information. So Facebook yeah. was just trying to beat them to the punch. Facebook isn't being very forthright and, and coming to the public and saying, hey, guys, we messed up. We're going to fix it. They usually wait until they get caught and then they get in trouble. This is one of the reasons why they're currently negotiating with the FTC mm -hmm. for billions of dollars in fines. Uh, and it's also the reason why it's a hot button issue in the election this year about how to regulate tech companies because they're just not being very responsible with our data and our, and our login information. Yeah, there's a lot more oversight here, certainly a lot of scrutiny, uh, as you said, you know, from the federal government uh, on companies like Facebook. I mean, do we have any evidence that, that Facebook is doing more sort of internal security reviews a as a result of all that scrutiny? We're not really getting a lot of uh, details about what Facebook is doing. We we're constantly getting promises that they are going to do better and they're going to strive to protect their users in the future. But I have not seen any specific information about these are the steps we are taking and um, something that's verifiable that the public can then look to and say, awesome, Facebook has my back. Uh, and because we're not getting those details, again, it's just hard to trust their, their talking points when their PR department tries to spin these terrible stories that keep coming out. Yeah, certainly a lot of folks feel like they're in the dark. So uh, with that being said, uh, you know, Facebook says they have fixed this particular glitch. But uh, do you think folks should be changing their Facebook passwords? I think, I think we should all adopt basic user security. Just take our security upon ourselves. So create uh, random, unique passwords for every website. And I know that sounds hard. So yeah. use a different service like LastPass or a different service that will allow you to do it easily. You also want to make sure, and Facebook's particularly, is go to the security page and turn on notifications for any time someone outside of a recognized area or somebody uses an unrecognized device to access your account. You'll at least get alerts and let you know, hey, something's wrong. You need to do something now. Yep, Facebook says this was uh, just a glitch, but boy, uh, we're seeing glitch after glitch after, after glitch, and, and uh, it becomes a trend. Yes. You yeah. can also go on Facebook. There's a security login page where you can see little pinpoint maps of, of where people have logged into your account. And you okay. can kind of look at that and go, I haven't been to Washington, D.C. lately. What the heck is this? Sure, so sure. You, you just have, we just have to protect ourselves. Unfortunately, Facebook's not going to do it for us. And if yeah. we're going to continue to use Facebook as a service, we just need to watch out, for, watch our own backs, basically. All right. Very good advice. Uh, our tech expert, Ryan Eldridge. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. You're welcome.